Hamilton County Sheriff Austin Garrett says he plans to make body camera video available of a controversial arrest made at Eastridge High School. In this cell phone video released, you can see a Hamilton County Sheriff's deputy pull a student by his hair down the bleachers in the school's gym. And tonight, Liam Collins spoke to the student's attorney who raised concerns about the deputy's history of misconduct allegations. Liam, good evening. Tell us more. Yeah, Cindy, good evening to you. An attorney representing Deputy Tyler McRae says his client is now getting threats over this video. And tonight, Local 3 News is learning that deputy is the same one involved in an ongoing civil rights lawsuit. Robin Flores says he's representing two teenage girls who says Deputy McRae searched them unjustly and inappropriately. And tonight, Flores says he plans to argue that that search, what, that the latest incident is just the latest in an ongoing uh, pattern of misconduct. This is the now viral cell phone video of an East Ridge High School resource deputy attempting to take a student into custody. In the video, you can see the deputy pulling 18-year-old Taurus Sledge by his hair and then his backpack on a flight of bleachers in the school's gym. To me, this looks like something that had a high likelihood of death or serious bodily injury because of where they were. Robin Flores is representing Sledge in his criminal trial and is considering a civil rights lawsuit based on what he sees in the 12-second video. We need to know more than what's just in that little blurb. According to his arrest warrant, Sledge refused his teacher's demands to play a game of kickball in gym class. Police say the teacher called for Deputy Tyler McRae to respond when he says Sledge started yelling and puffing out his chest in an aggressive manner. McRae claims to explain to Sledge why he needed to calm down, so an arrest would not have to happen. That's when McRae says he felt threatened by Sledge and says he told the deputy he has five seconds to get his hand off. Then this video was taken, which the Hamilton County Sheriff's Office says doesn't tell the whole story. In a statement, Sheriff Austin Garrett says he plans to make body camera video of the incident available to the public. He also said in part, quote, the contents of the video will show the complete picture of the events that occurred that day surrounding this deputy's use of force at Each Ridge High School. Sledge was later pepper sprayed and charged with resisting arrest, assault, and disorderly conduct. It, what was going through the officer's mind at the time where he believed that amount of force was necessary. Deputy McRae was previously named in a federal civil lawsuit where he's accused of fondling and groping underage girls during a traffic stop. Also named in that lawsuit is Deputy Daniel Wilkie. That's the deputy who was previously named in a separate civil rights lawsuit for baptizing a woman against her will in Sandy Daisy during a traffic stop in 2019. Uh, Holy Spirit. McRae was not there for the baptism, but he was present during the traffic stop leading up to it when the deputies were accused of an inappropriate search. Flores plans to argue in court that it points to a pattern of misconduct. Now you have Mr. McRae off the street in a school setting dealing with teenagers. Now the attorney representing Deputy McRae says that he wants the threats being made against his client to be fully investigated. He also clarified that that video you just saw only shows just a few seconds of the incident, which lasted over an hour. We also asked the Hamilton County Sheriff's Office for the personnel files for Deputy McRae, and we will let you know when those public records requests are fulfilled. We're live at Eastridge High School tonight. Liam Collins, Local 3 News.